Hello beautiful people, Robin Thomas here, also known as Braised by Ra. Welcome back to my channel. So I just want to first start off by saying I had a blast and I love this hair. <laughs> it did me well on the trip and it is still doing me well right now. Um, so that is my braid pattern that I have and that is my unit. I am wearing um, a 12 inch closer, closure, excuse me, 12, 14, and 16 inches. Now I did it that way on purpose because I wanted a lot of layers. I wanted a lot of layers, so that's why I did this. So it goes from, of course, um, shortest at the top to longest at the bottom. So 12 inch closure, 12, 14 and 16 inch bundles. So I have three bundles and one closure. So here what you see me doing is I've applied my wig and um, I'm just moving the hair out of the way. I am not going to, so I did my braid pattern like this because I wanted my edges to be loose for a couple of reasons. One, I just don't want tension on them. Um, two, because I knew that I was doing a closure unit and I wanted to like have some hair in the front to be able to manipulate um, over that area because I did not, it was my plan to pluck the, um, pluck some of the hair from the closure but when I went to like I was playing with it a lot before I put it on and as I was styling it for this style I realized I really didn't need to pluck it you know how I was going to wear it so I decided to just kind of let it be you know at least for right now if I decide to like do a middle part or um, something where the very front of it will be out then I may pluck the um, closure but if not then I'll just leave it as it is um so yeah what i'm doing is right now i am sewing down the per, uh, the sides so i did so i have two braids on the sides and i have one braid in the back as you seen um at the beginning of the video uh to help secure my wig unit um yeah so that's what you see me doing right here sewing it down to keep it tight and secure on there. I'm not sure how long I will wear it. Um, this video was recorded on the 19th of October. It is the 20, like six or something, 25th or 26th. Um, so it's doing me well. Uh, I still have it on. I usually wash my hair like every one and a half to two weeks. So it hasn't been two weeks yet. So we'll just see how it goes. And I don't know, my whole plan was to be able to um, take it off, you know, sew down the perimeter, take it off whenever I wanted to, like every one and a half to two weeks, wash my hair, really get into my scalp and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, put it back on and do, do the same thing again. So I don't know, we'll see. Right here, you just see me adjusting it because I've done one side already. And actually, I'm about to go back up to the top because um, I didn't get all the, I didn't cover it as much as I wanted to. I didn't sew down all the part that I wanted to. So I'm just taking it back up. No, I did not go and thread back from the bottom to the top. I took that thread from the back and I just stretched it up to the front. You will see it later on in the video, but I stretched it up to the front and tied it. You can't see it. I have my hair down. For me, you know, it doesn't matter. For myself, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just doing the same thing to the other side. And on this side, I'm actually going to go from the side and I'm going to do the back. Y'all, that light was really bright. And so I apologize um, early in the video. Well, a lot of times in the video, you see me going back and forth. So I'm going, moving up to the mirror that's there um to my left so if i'm like looking at the camera in the video i'm going up to that mirror to see because that light is so bright um the ring light whenever i'm recording uh, so that's why i was going back and forth but i am just continuing continuing to sew it down now on the sides i made sure to keep the thread tight or uh, not tight excuse me close together um whenever i was going through and threading it on the back i'm not doing that as much because um i like to um get on up in there and scratch you know if i need to and i just need access to some part of my scalp <laughs> whenever it itches so i'm not really um 
focusing too much on the thread being super close together for the back portion. Like I said, I need to be able to get on up in there. Um, but nevertheless, it is definitely still secure. So I'm just going to continue to do that. And then I'm going to, oh, there's that thread. Y'all see it? There's a thread, you can't see it, but I'm gonna to continue to um, sew this down and then I'm going to flat iron it. Um, I'm gonna flat iron it. Um, that was my first, that's how I wore it first, just as a flat iron. And then I did a couple of styling. Y'all, we had so much fun. I just, when my husband and I are together, we don't really have our phones that much. So it's I, we were having so much fun that I wasn't able to um, record as much content as I wanted to. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely still going to have other videos. I plan I love this unit. I'm definitely going to have other videos um, of me doing different things to this. I've definitely, I've curled it. I've had many types of curls already, uh, different styles to it. So I'm definitely going to be doing other videos and styles while I'm playing with this hair. I'm having so much fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. If you have not, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other uploads um, that I have coming for you all. I want to take y'all on this journey with me. So let's do it. Enjoy the rest of the video as I style and head out. I'll see y'all soon. Peace and blessings.